Hi, my name is Willa Sipple. And I'm Serafina Foyman. Welcome to Tell It Like It Is. With Amazon establishing its new locations and other talk about corporations and small business tension, we decided to investigate how small businesses were getting affected by major corporations on a local level. And coming to Massachusetts, a hill town a little west of here, there has been a lot of controversy over a possible move-in of chain store Dollar General. To learn more about this issue, we sat down with Katie Eisman, lawyer from the area and one of the champions for this issue. A lot of people I know have been mortified by the prospect of having a huge um, chain store um, right in the middle of Comington. A big chain store would be sending the money essentially out of um, the community instead of um, keeping it circulated, which is what happens when, you, when you're supporting local farmers and local artists and so on. First there were re rumors and a lot of people saying it's a done deal and it's inevitable, but I, I've heard that before. Um, back when um, the pipeline proposal came through town, everybody said it was a done deal. And I said, that's, that's not the way you go about this. You don't assume <laughs> anything. And it, you know, the way you stop it is to oppose it. I am optimistic that this will not be something that divides the town, but that we can unite against it. There is currently a petition with over 600 signatures to stop the Dollar General store from moving in. To connect with these local Covington residents, we spoke to them. I am very much against it. It would be detrimental to competing in existing businesses. If the Zoning Board of Appeals grants the special permit, they would have a, a very difficult time, I would think, keeping any other big box store out once they've let this one in. I would really not like to see that happen in this community. This community is uh, based on history as far as I'm concerned. So I've been taking signatures on petitions so and even non-residents who come through here and eat here do not want to see a Dollar General store here. It's not going to be positive for local businesses. There's probably going to be less jobs because smaller little stores like this are probably going to be run out of business for most of the things here. I'm against it because of that, because it is going to have such a heavy impact on smaller businesses like this, but that's what America's becoming. The Dollar General store has since declined to comment. Last night, there was a meeting regarding this issue in the town of Cummington. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. This was Tell It Like It Is.